All right, gentlemen and ladies, you are welcome to our studio, Speedy Success Professional. My name is Femi Richward, and I want us to solve this question uh, on the course performance management or advanced uh, management accounting. And the question is on Covenant Nigeria Limited. The company has three branches, Ibadan, Benin, and Kano, each operating as an independent branch or unit. The following data are in respect of them. We have particular total asset return on investment and last year profit. Ibadan had 1,420,000 as total assets, Benin 1,210,000 as total assets, Kano, 1,840,000 as total assets. And then return on investment, about 25%, Benin 18%, and Kano 20%. Can we go ahead now? Last year's profit, about 520,000, Benin 209,000, Kano 384,000. Now, Let's have the additional information. The company has a project which any of the branches can undertake and on which a return on investment of 23% is expected to be carried on on the fund invested. You are now required to do the following. One, calculate the actual return on investment for last year for each branch. Two, calculate the residual income for last year for each branch. And then the last group here is state with reasons. Which of the branches will be willing to undertake the new project if A, the performance of the branches is evaluated on the basis of actual return on investment? Two, the performance of branches are, is evaluated on the basis of residual income. All right, I'll go to the board and talk to you over it. Thank you. All right, so you are welcome to our solution page. Now, the courses performance management I said earlier, please subscribe to Spirit Success Studio to watch our videos. We love you. Subscribe, please subscribe, please subscribe to our studio, and uh, you will get more of professional lectures, raw lectures like this from our table. Covenant Limited, the first step is for you to uh, calculate the return on investment. So if I don't have profit of 520,000, and the capital employed 1,420,000, 1, 1 million, sorry. 420,000. Where you ca calculate the formula for raw is profit all over capital employee times 100 all over 1. And that generates 336 36%, 36.62% um, for a badon. Okay? And then for Benin, the same format, it generated 25.54%. Kano, 384 all over 1,840,000, it generated 20.87%. Please don't forget, it is Speedy Success, and my name is Femi Richard. Remember to subscribe to our, our channel, subscribe. Thank you. Okay, now, that was the first step. The first step we have done is for us to calculate return on investment. And for what we have seen, uh, if I don't seem to be the base, and uh, Bini followed kind of um, the thoughts in that uh, performance ranking. Do we understand? So examiner wanted to rank and tell us which company is doing better. But let's go to using the second method, ROI, or return on investment, where you calculate we have return um, for each of the company, which is something, uh, each of the branch, which is something as uh, um, profit or return. Then we have cost, uh, imputed cost of capital, which is the 
amount stated in the question two have been uh, the interest you need to pay for using the loan uh, for that business. So, checking down, let's just quickly look at that before we go back to the solution. If I don't have the cost of capital of 25%, um, that gave us 355,000. Uh, Benin had cost of capital of 118%. It generated 217,800 and Kano, 368,000 at 20% interest on capital. Now let's go back and look at how we, get, we were able to do the solution on return on in, uh, residual income. So, residual income is equal to return uh, less cost of capital. And then we have it like this. If I don't have the 165,000 re residual income, uh, Bini had 91,200 91, and Kano 16,000. And that also tells you that uh, Bados is still the leading company if we are re rating the company based on residual income. But we had the third question saying, now evaluate which company will be able to take this uh, pro new project based on the two model, uh, ROI and residual income. How together? Now let's go and um, um, show our ev evaluation, all right? The first part of the evaluation is that, uh, the first part of the evaluation is uh, showing that we're evaluating based on Roy. And the narrative is that only Kano will be eager to accept the new project based on the following reasons. One, Kano is currently having the lowest return on investment of 20.8%. And a new project is, if the new project is accepted, its uh, overall rate of return will increase to 21.94%. That is 20.87% plus 23%. The average is 21.94%. So Kano will love to accept the new project because it will increase um, its return uh, to 21.94%. Bene and Ibadan branch will not be eager to accept the uh, new project because it will reduce the uh, existing return on investment of 36.6 and 25.5 to 29.5 and uh, uh, and 24%. Um, so there will be a reduction of uh, Ibadan and a reduction of uh, Benin return on investment if they accept the new project. So only Kano can do it. So we write to the, the examiner must be informed that only Kano can accept the project based on actual return on investment. Please remember to subscribe to our channel PD Sources Studio. My name is Femi Richward. Let's go to the next um, solution. The next approach is if we are to evaluate um, the companies or the branches based on residual income, only Ibadan branch will be eager to undertake the new project based on the following reasons. All right, so one Ibadan currently having a, a cost of capital of 25%. But I'm currently having a cost of capital of 25%. Uh, if it accepts a new project, the overall cost of capital will reduce to the 4%, and this will move profit up. And that's why it's only about that would love to accept the new project using residual income. Beni and Kano will not be eager to undertake the new project because their current cost of capital of 18.5%. 18% and 20% respectively will increase will increase to 20.5% 20.5% and 21.5% if they accept the new project of 23%. Therefore, we want to let us know everyone in the class that it is very important for us to conclude that the higher the imputed cost of capital, the lower the residual income. 
Now, I'd like you to take note that our Speedy Success will provide performance management report, um, uh, training, excellent one, and we'll, we'll move to the next topic where we'll meet the next class. Thank you very much, and God bless you all. Subscribe, share, and call us for older services. Thank you.